Today is a very exciting day because for lunch, I'm going to one of the best Spanish tapas restaurants in New York City, the Michelin starred Casa Mono. So in Spanish, Casa means house and Mono means monkey. So monkey house. I don't know what the hell that name really means or why the restaurant's called that, but I really don't care. I'm all about the food. The establishment's been around for at least a decent number of years now. It's located in the Gramercy Park neighborhood of Manhattan. And I'm hungry, I want my tapas. Let's go to lunch. Casa Mono has an expansive menu with traditional Spanish tapas along with more contemporary options. During my visit, the establishment also had a special set menu for restaurant week. Just arrived at Casa Mono, I'm seated outside here. I ordered off the restaurant week menu, two courses, 21 bucks, seems like a good deal, and two courses a la carte, should be coming up shortly, super excited. Sadly, that didn't happen as I waited over half an hour just for bread and olives to be placed on my table. Thankfully, at least my salad arrived soon after. The bread was good, but nothing special. I did appreciate the olives though, as it reminded me of meals I had in Spain. As far as the salad, I enjoyed it. It was called the Ensalada Mono and came with pimenton spiced almonds and large slices of manchego cheese. It's been about 45 minutes since my salad came out. I'm still waiting on my next courses. This is getting annoying. I waited about five minutes more for the next tapa to finally arrive. It was a course of creamy eggs with sea urchin, walnuts, lime, and ancient anchovy oil. Okay, that is really good. The acidity from the lime and crunch provided by the walnuts were the perfect complements to the delicate and smooth flavors from the eggs and sea urchin. I loved it. It made the wait worth it. That is creamy. The sea urchin is wonderful. Really, really good dish. So it took about 50 minutes for my second course to come out. I got a couple more courses. Let's see how long it takes. My next tapa arrived in a more reasonable time period. It was a grilled dorada with a peach gazpacho and a fruit salad. The fish was perfectly cooked, and I love the sweet pairing with the peach gazpacho. The dish was part of Casa Mono's Restaurant Week menu and easily made the $21 price tag worth it. Thankfully, my next course arrived only 10 minutes later. It was fideos with chorizo, clams, and a garlic sherry aioli. Fideos are actually noodles. To me, this dish was pure comfort food, and I really enjoyed it. It's really good. Really interesting. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Interesting textures, nice flavor. So luckily my third course only took about 17 minutes after my second course came out and while I was eating my third course, my fourth course came out. So service is a little better, but uh, gonna order dessert now, I think. We'll see, I don't wanna wait another like half hour, 40 minutes or whatever. However, the food is really, really good though. No complaints about that. All right, so I just ordered dessert. I got a sort of a bread pudding. It sounds really good, but super excited for it. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. I've already been here over two hours and 10 minutes. You would think I'm here for a tasty menu, but nope, just a regular tapas restaurant. Excuse me, a Michelin star tapas restaurant. Fortunately, the wait for my dessert wasn't long. I got an orange infused bread pudding with caramel ice cream and Pedro Jimenez berries. This is so, so good. And when they brought it out here, it smelled just heavenly. Mm. Delicious. The dessert was a nice ending to a lunch of great food, but one marred by the service. I know restaurants are having tough times these days with employee retention and hirings, but the fact remains, things could have been much better. 
Just finished a really great lunch at Casa Mono. The food was excellent, the service, not the greatest. So I had five courses doled out over a two and a half hour time period. It should have taken at least half that. Maybe I'm just unlucky, you know? It could just be an off day, but still, it does dampen the experience a little bit. But the food was excellent. That is definitely Michelin-starred worthy food. That was some incredible tapas. The two course, $21 restaurant week menu, I thought that was a pretty good deal. And price-wise, my whole meal seemed fairly reasonable, at least for a Michelin-starred establishment. I do wish the service was better. I mean, like even little things, like my glass of water was only refilled once in my two and a half hours I was there. I mean, it sat on the table empty for a good amount of time, and I was thirsty. That was annoying. I mean, it's also a weekday. I've got stuff to do. I've got work. I can't be at a restaurant for two and a half hours. That's way too long. But the reality is, I love the food, and that's what counts for me. Casa Mona is a really, really great restaurant. I love what they're doing. I just wish the service was a bit better. Maybe I just had some bad luck today, but I would still go there again. I loved everything I had. Great restaurant.